So this is my first attempt to make a video on, on YouTube to explain some basic concepts of neurosciences and I want to dedicate this video to Sal Khan, uh, the incredibly amazing founder of this website that's called Khan Academy who I emailed the other day and got this idea from as to how I could teach my medical students and residents uh, some simple concepts of neurosciences. So I don't have a have a blackboard, um, the tablet, which I'll probably get at some point, but this is my very amateur uh, attempt to try to explain some concepts of neurosciences. So we're going to talk about the pupillary light reflex. So imagine that this is your eye, this is right eye, and this is the left eye. So what happens when we shine light into the eye? The natural response is that the eye constricts, right? So it's called the pupillary light response or light reflex. But how does this happen? What's the science behind this? So when we shine light into the eye, there's a sensor here and the sensor is called retina and I'm going to call it R. So this light is sensed by the retina. And all of these uh, reflexes, all they are is a sensory perception and a motor feedback loop in order to get a motor response. So from this sensor called the retina, the impulse travels in the nerve fibers of the optic nerve. I'm going to call it ON or it's the second cranial nerve. Through the optic nerve, these impulses then go into the structure of the brain in the midbrain and this structure is called the pretectal area and this is in the midbrain. So this is another sensor. So from the pretectal area the next impulse is sent to another structure which is called the edinger westphal nucleus. I'm going to call it EWN. And the edinger westphal nucleus is part of the oculomotor complex. That's the oculomotor nucleus from which the third cranial nerve or oculomotor nerve arises. From the edinger westphal nucleus, now this is all the sensory part of the loop. Now we're going to have the motor part of the loop. So you have these fibers that go from the adenoid westphal nucleus okay, and there's a relay center here and I'm going to call it a ganglion and these terminologies are familiar to the medical students and this is called a ciliary ganglion. So any fibers before the ganglion are called pre-ganglionic fibers and the third cranial nerve has parasympathetic. There's a sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system so these preganglionic fibers from the adenoid westphal nucleus are parasympathetic fibers now traveling in the third cranial nerve and they synapse in the ciliary ganglion and the next set of fibers are basically called postganglionic fibers and these postganglionic fibers they go through short ciliary nerves and remember for us to have a response, for us to have any kind of reflex, you require a muscle to contract. And that muscle here is the sphincter pupillae muscle, which is in the iris. So when this muscle contracts, what you get is pupillary contraction. That's the whole pathway. Okay. Another important concept is when you shine light in one eye, not only this particular pupil constricts, but this pupil constricts as well. So this is called the same eye or ipsilateral. This is the opposite eye or contralateral. So how does that work? Works by the same pathway really and this will be a little rehash of this uh, reflex. So the light entering into the eye sensed by the retina going into the fibers of the optic nerve pretectal area of the midbrain. Now for the ipsilateral pupillary response you have the Erdinger-Westphal nucleus which is on the right side 
for the contralateral response, these impulses go from the pretectal area not to the same side but to the opposite side. So you also have a netting of his fall nucleus which is here on the left side. And these fibers, again these are all fibers and this is called the posterior commission. So then the motor response starts from here. So you have the preganglionic fibers, parasympathetic fibers uh, in the third nerve. This is again your ciliary ganglion. These are postganglionic fibers in short ciliary nerves and they stimulate the muscle which is sphincter pupillae in the iris and you get contraction of the pupil. So this is a direct pupillary response and this feedback loop is called the consensual pupillary response. Thank you.